So large scale vegetable farmers in Naivasha are now turning to drip irrigation systems to ensure sufficient water for their crops. On this week's Smart Farm, Dennis Otieno visited one such farmer who has been patient with the drip irrigation method and is now ripping the fruit. It is now common knowledge that rain-fed agriculture is no longer a viable option. Judy Wangeshi, a large-scale vegetable farmer in the outskirts of Naivasha town, knows just too well what it means to have a reliable water supply. At a farm located at Moindabi area, she's using drip irrigation systems to service her 80-acre farm. We have been using the farrow. Now, after the farrow system, we see the time we want to, to spray everywhere, we are not making it. So I decided to put the drip in irrigation. And the drip irrigation is very nice because of the spacing of the hole to hole. Spacing of the hole to hole is 10 centimeters. When doing 10 centimeters, it is 20 minutes only you get enough water. These cabbages is evident for anyone visiting this farm in which Wangeshi invested 300,000 shillings as capital. She also cultivates onions, spinach, coriander, kales and tomatoes on a rotational basis. But the cabbage accounts for 30 acres out of the 80. Her choice of the drip method was informed by the topography of the land here which is fairly flat. When buying the drip lines, Wangeshi says it's important to consider quality of the pipes as well as the flow rate of the water. In one acre, we do put 1,000 meters, 10 laws. 10 laws. But it depends with the, your bed and the crop that you are planting. If the crop you put through row, two rows, you have to, to add more rollers of the bottles of the nene, of the drips. Before watering her crops, she tests the flow rate of the water by placing a small container to one of the emitters. This gives an indication of water supply to crops. Wangeshi waters her vegetables early in the morning or late in the evening, and this helps a great deal in absorption by the plants. The number of times of watering, however, depends on the stage of the crop and weather. She pumps water from a borehole and uses less than one hour to water her cabbages. There are times when the emitters can be blocked and one can clean the drip lines by flushing or using phosphoric acid on the emitters. The drips can take you 10 or 20 years if you are very clean. If your water is very clean because you know there are some small holes. But we, we, you, you must be very keen. When it gets close to those, those small holes, you put an acid, or the acid will remove the, the, the dirt in the holes. Yeah. Ongeshi plants an average of 40,000 cabbage seedlings per week. In my farm, cabbage do take 75 days because it is Victoria cabbage. Wangeshi, who was named a top farmer in the country two years ago, has today more than doubled the production and is reaping big from a venture. In an acre, she gets close to 12,000 pieces of cabbage, selling one at 50 shillings. This largely depends on supply and demand. With the drip system, Wangeshi says she has greatly reduced wastage on her farm and is now planning to put up a drying facility as she targets the export market. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.